I had been working on the freeze of life for nearly 20 years, when in Kragre in 1910 I was urged to submit a competition draft for the Aula decorations. It was with great misgivings, after many persistent requests, that I submitted a draft. I was, after all, preoccupied with the freeze of life. It was quite subjective and had very personal motives. Here, in the Aula pictures, I was supposed to be more objective, according to a fixed motive. After many drafts for history, which were close to being failures, I suddenly saw an old white-bearded man bend over and pick up a piece of wood he had dropped. A little red cap, blue and white jacket, yellow worn work trousers, like the jacket, with patches in different colours. There was an air of solemnity about the old man, the bushy eyebrows under which two eyes flashed, the long yellow grey beard. Now the picture is complete, I said to myself, and got Butter to model for me. I drew him under the tree. Little by little, one thing after the other appeared, the sea and the islets and the cliffs. I saw the sun rise over the cliffs. I painted the sun. Then came the mother with her children. As history was commanded by Captain Burre, Alma Mater was commanded by an impression from Hedemarken. At the age of 18 I drew a farmer's wife with a child at her breast. For Mater I sought a model landscape. I left Kragerö and bought Nedre Ramme near Wittsten. There I had the motive for Alma Mater. Have people thought about the size of the Aula pictures? The two largest pictures are 5 meters tall and 11 and a half meters long. Together the pictures cover one fourth of an acre of land and I have painted four such sets. I was far from exhausted. On the contrary, my zest for work increased with the work itself and I was prepared to continue. But everyone else was tired. One didn't want any more nonsense. The university was sick and tired, the caretaker was sick and tired, and there was no support to be found. Leonardo worked on the Last Supper for fifteen years. I had far too little time for this exceedingly complicated assignment in the Aula. Then again, I am very proud to have gotten the Aula, and if I have the energy, I will even try to complete yet another Alma Mater. I felt at the time that this could be the best picture. It was life itself.